see this Nia Clark. Um, she looks really confident out there. Um, she's playing with a little bit of swag. You can tell them just the way that she makes her passes and the shots mm -hmm. that she's taking. Um, I saw at the end of the game there, you kind of put your hands up and, and surprise when, <laughs> she, when she hit her last three. Um, tell me what you're seeing from her. Tonight was probably the first night that I felt like she was in complete control of her game. I think there's been so many up and down moments for her and all freshmen, right? Uh, of just finding, you know, her role, finding what it means to play hard all the time. I guess what people don't realize is you come in, you got this big playbook, you got to remember a scout. And when she was in high school in AAU, she could just come down and fire threes and get to the rim. And, and now it, it's like, it's, you know, it's like football, everything's moving so fast and you got to get your reads. And it's, it's tonight was the first night I thought we saw the Nia Clark who can catch and shoot threes which what we saw a ton, you know, the past couple of years with her. And she was confident. We worked a lot on her. Like, if you're going to take a shot, you shoot it, whether you make it or you brick it or whatever it is, you got to do it with um, some conviction in what you do. And she just um, always brings it on the defensive end. I think she brings that athleticism and energy. Uh, what maybe people don't see is she's, she's getting better being in the right spots to make those plays. And then I thought her decision making down the stretch of, um, you know, just on the offensive end of getting the ball inside when she needed to, listening to Lauren. Lauren, I think they've really got their chemistry down of just, you know, that one-two punch and transition and knowing when to go and when to pull it back and run offense. So really, really happy with, with her performance uh, tonight in this young season. Also maybe the first game that Lauren Dick Dickerson has really looked like herself, um, knocking down some big threes, especially in the first half. Um, was this something that you saw maybe coming up in practice, or, or what happened this week? She had probably two of her best days this week leading up to UC by just her preparation, just her film study. Um, she's been really good with understanding that we want to get people's confidence going by getting them the ball and getting the ball inside. And, you know, this was the game tonight on our – this UC game on our schedule it was like, this is your time now to shine. And whether uh, – statistically, I don't even really care what it looks like. Your rhythm's got to be good. you got to come out aggressive. Uh, and then you could see that perfect balance that we've kind of been waiting for of just like her hitting those crazy threes from wherever her getting to the rim um, and then still sharing the ball and finding her shooters and finding her teammates so she was so locked in just from a confidence her positivity she was looking over we were on the same page with just what we wanted to run against UC switching defenses I mean they must have switched things up um, and did about 10 different things on defense and, and Lauren continued to have that poise and um, you know looked like one of the best players in the country tonight with just her her swagger and her confidence and, and definitely let us. Um, you held UC's uh, two top scores to below their season averages, Goings and, and Miller. Um, did you target them as particularly at the beginning of the game and coming in, did you know you were going to have to shut them down to win? Cincinnati's been pretty balanced overall with some kids coming off the bench. They had some interesting lineups in due to some foul trouble. I thought we did uh, a great job on Miller getting her in some foul trouble and was sitting on the bench and she just couldn't get that rhythm uh, right off the bat. I think defensively for us, it was probably one of our better games. Uh, for sure, it was probably our, be our better game, um, which is being in the right spots and taking away kind of their inside touches and uh, really knowing the scout. And uh, we've been preaching it and talking about it and in the rebounding battle as well. We obviously shot it well so there weren't as many you know rebounds to be had but I, I just liked overall just our mindset to try and defend right and be in those spots and if they score by us being in the right spots you know we can live with that to some extent but um, overall I was just really thrilled with um, the overall effort and intensity. We talked earlier this week about Miami putting together a complete 40 minute game shooting wise and today they did just that they shot over 50 percent from the field throughout the entire game. Um, what was working for you tonight in terms of teamwork and actually getting those shots to sink? We, we look at a lot of statistical categories and goals of how many turnovers we want to see in a game and what the rebounding margin should be. And, and a lot of tonight and the last two days of practice was finding our heart and toughness, as cliche as that sounds. We, we lost it for a little bit, and the identity of our team is still out there a little bit. And um, when I told them before the game, when we went out, I said, regardless of what the score is, I want us to come back in this locker room and feel really good about the product we put out, that you played your butt off, okay, you tried to execute the game plan, you were a great teammate and starting with the foundation of building this program I thought we got away from that we were feeling you know we were looking at our record and thinking well we're, we're five and one and, and it was it was less about the process of us getting better every day and we spent more than anything about UC we spent time talking to each other figuring it out um, you know just to find that that 
uh, confidence in each other that we know you can be. And, and trust me, when I watch the film, it won't be a f perfect 40 minutes um, of basketball, but it's something to build on. And the great thing about you know college basketball is you got tonight to enjoy it, and staff will be back in the, in the lab watching film and getting ready for Valpo on Saturday. We talk a lot about Miami's balanced scoring so far this season, and you accomplished that again tonight. In addition to that, what is so hard about this Miami team to defend for your opponents? I hope we continue to add that depth each and every game and you know get the, the young kids continue to come along. And I thought we, we have enough inside with you know Savannah and Chris and Kendall. And Abby was a little under the weather, so we didn't see her today. But Bailey came in and, and gave us some good minutes. And uh, you know, and Lauren, if she can do what she does, and you know, Nia has a game like this, and you know, Leah last game was really good, and she hit some timely shots and a couple times free throws and it's it's if you can patch all those little things together uh, it's going to be difficult to guard us and, and up to this point we haven't really had that we've had you know we've hit threes in some games and then we were really good inside and I thought today was probably our best balanced attack from from the offensive end and it's nice to show our home crowd um, just people who came out to the game today what this product can look like and it was definitely a, definitely a fun night thank you coach thank you Lauren, definitely your best statistical game of the year. Um, really seemed like the shots were falling for you. What was different this time around? Um, I don't think anything was different. I just finally connected, really. Uh, uh, it's kind of been rough the first few games, but I stayed the course, and my teammates helped me a lot. They helped me with my confidence, telling me keep shooting, shooting when I'm open, and just believing that it'll go in, and it did. Was the rivalry uh, game? the in-town rivalry, did that have a little bit to do with it? It seems like you like to step up in the big moments. <laughs> of course it did. Um, there's, oops, when Cincinnati comes or we go there, it's always a it's time to show up type of game. So, In uh, preparation for this week, how was the energy in practice? The energy years? was great. We kind of got challenged a little bit, but I think we rose up very well. Um, we stayed together. We came together um, when we could have went our separate ways, but uh, this group was kind of special, so we, we talked it out and did some things in a great way and executed we're asking about Nia Clark a lot. She's stepped up really in the early uh, season. What is it? What do you see from her when you're on the court with her? Um, Speedy Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. She's fast as I'll get out. Um, she has so much potential. She hasn't even hit her peak, I don't think. Uh, sh she's great. She came in as giving us big minutes, giving us big steals. And anything she can do, she's doing it. And I think she's going to be great in the end. Talking a little bit more about her, what – does Nia, as well as the rest of this freshman class, kind of add to your roster this year? And how are they pushing you to be a better player mm -hmm. so far? Um, their whole class is, uh, they add grit. They they come with grit and swag, I think. Um, they they have a confidence about themselves as well. Like, they're not, they're not scared of anything. So they come in, they challenge us as long as we're challenging them. And they take what we give them, we take what they give us, and uh, it just works out. Speaking of giving and taking, Assist wise, mm -hmm. you're getting into that top 10 in Miami history now. Um, could you describe how is that a big part of your game and how does that add to Miami's offensive threat? Mm -hmm. um, well, as a point guard, that's kind of my main goal was to involve my teammates, give them, um, my bigs a touch, my shooting guards a touch. Um, it adds a m little bit more dynamic to our game, um, not always having the ball in my hands and allowing my teammates to get their chances to score and we're connecting a lot, so that's good in, in our favor. Uh, moving forward, the season is still young. What do you need to keep doing in order to keep getting these victories, moral and on the scoreboard? Mm -hmm. um, we need to keep our confidence up, um, stay the course. It's, it's a long season, but if we just stay together, um, allow our bodies to work how they should, um, we should be good. And executing-wise, if we can just think while playing, I think we'll be great. Thank you. Congratulations on this win. Thank you. Nia, you looked really comfortable tonight and confident. Um, talk to me about how it's been getting more playing time and coming into this game. It's a big rivalry game. Um, well, it was an, it's an adjustment. Um, every day in practice we go hard, and it's like a competition every day. Uh, so it's like a, almost like a tryout every day. So you're, you're working hard, and it pays off. Defensively, you were very active. You got some important steals. Um, talk to me about your drive on defense, is that something that you try to hold yourself to? Yeah, one of my goals um, for myself is every time I step on the floor, I want to be the best defender on the floor, and I want to make my defense create my offense. You keep putting up games with double figures. Where do you go from here? 
Uh, well, I guess only up from here. I'm going to keep working hard with my teammates and keep um, buying into the process that we work hard on every day. Uh, what do you think is your biggest strength right now on, out on the floor? Uh, I would say getting out on transition and on the ball defense. I take pride in that a lot. Uh, looking ahead to your next games, what do you hope that Miami can continue to accomplish as a team? Uh, to, to keep binding to our core values and to keep coming together and keep getting big wins like this and uh, keep binding to the process. Thank you. Congratulations on this. Thank you.